Helen Lock at the Jews. So here are five ways I want to show you how you can know if your relationship is transactional or transformational. Number one, are you poured in or are you depleted? Now, this is actually a pretty common description that we can give between both transactional and transformational relationships. Typically, when a relationship is transactional, you're often going to feel very depleted, mentally drained, as if there is just so much that you're giving to this person, and yet they have yet to even give anything back to you. I want you to be careful with this too, because it's very important that as you're journeying through deciphering between what's transformational and what's transactional, the type of relationship that you have with an individual and the expectation that you're setting on such individual because you could be labeling a relationship as transactional therefore wanting to remove yourself from it when maybe that relationship was never meant for them to give you much of anything and possibly you were connected to this person to pour into them to lead them to help them grow in some kind of area in which provides purpose for said relationship. So it's something to be mindful about as you're navigating and reassessing your relationships, but definitely finding yourself completely depleted and drained, almost as if they're a leech and they're continuously coming to you to take, 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 but they never offer, they never give. There's nothing that they're looking to invest into you. They're just around when you have what they need and when they get it, they're gone that can typically lead to a very transactional based relationship that's actually more draining than it is fulfilling whereas in transformational uh, there's equity there's a mutual meeting there there's a mutual opportunity for both of you to pour into each other learn from each other grow with each other and furthermore there's access to one another to grow and learn together in this journey typically you can be feeling refreshed uh, you can be challenged a little bit in transformational relationships as well um, different kinds of descriptions to give you as you navigate through determining that number two their response to know when you tell this person you don't have it right now when you tell this person that you're not in a space right now to give them what they may be asking for how do they respond definitely something to pay attention to because oftentimes if you're in a transactional relationship an individual won't be around too much longer after you telling them no in fact they might kind of pick up shot move over they might start acting a little funny saying you're fake and you're not there and you switched up and all those kinds of things when in reality you just weren't in a space to give them what they were asking for in the moment and it seems as if that relationship was only predicated on you giving to them what they asked for when they asked for it. That carries a lot of selfish, even potential narcissistic mind frames behind it. Whereas in transformational, by being told no, it's not really going to cause a fit. It's not really going to cause a huge issue. In fact, that person might be more willing to understand more, be really understanding and even have spaces of patience in what they may be asking of you for um, and might be able to try again another time. But more than likely, they won't leave. They won't separate. They won't ditch on you, throw up the deuces or anything of that sort simply because you told them no. They aren't going to see it as a personal attack or a rejection of who they are, rather realizing that it just may be that you don't have what they're looking at right now, what they are asking for right now, and maybe there's another opportunity for such to occur at a later time. Number three, the comparison game. Is this person playing the comparison game with you? Is it possible that when you're around this person and every time something is brought up, they go around comparing you to other people who would do what they're asking you to do? Well, I know this person would do this for me if I asked them. Well, I know this person would do this for me if I asked them. Is it any kind of that vibe and attitude going around? Because if that's the case, it is possible that this person is looking at you to either be like someone else they know or do something like someone else they know, playing the comparison game, which ultimately leads down a path to devaluing who you are, where you are, and the capacity you have to be in the relationship space that you're in with this person. Comparison is easily one of the greatest, if not the greatest thief of joy, and it is possible that that could lead to very draining outcomes that isn't beneficial for the relationship space at hand. Whereas in transformational relationships, there isn't a whole lot of comparison, if any comparison going on at all in this connection. In fact, this person is more willing to accept you where you are, how you are, and furthermore, desires you to be you. 
not robbing you of your light, not robbing you or causing you to shy away from who you are, walking in your confidence, in truth, in love, in light. This person is truly supportive of you and desires to see you at your best, doing right and moving in transformative directions. Number four is support. All right. How does this person respond when you have victories, when you have milestones that you reach and you even and perhaps share with them are they real distant are they real lackadaisical are they really seemingly jealous do they seem kind of cold that could be because it's a transactional relationship you're dealing with and really what this person wants you around for isn't so that you both can celebrate each other's success but rather they just want you around so you can gloat and elevate them and their successes and as while you share your successes they could really care less and that again, ultimately leads down to a very draining, tolerable relationship and not a relationship in which you can be celebrated together and celebrate one another. Whereas transformational, again, very opposite. They celebrate each other, celebrate the wins, very supportive of the wins, very supportive of the right wins, right? It's not really something that is daunting, something that brings and tampers things down. It's not one that moves in a manner of trying to outdo you, trying to compete or make sure that you don't get all the shine or you don't get all the support and celebratory responses by trying to take a moment from you, but rather they're looking to enjoy the moment with you, enjoy the victory with you, support you in the next steps, in the next spaces that you're looking to journey with as you've gotten some wins in your life. We definitely want people in our lives, especially in transformative relationships we create, who are going to celebrate with us and not make everything out to be a me versus you, a you versus I, a you versus them. And then finally, number five, matching values. I cannot express enough how important matching values are in relationships you build. And it is quite possible that in transactional relationships or being able to determine if you're in a transactional relationship, oftentimes based on the values that you and this person or these people, these groups of people carry. If this individual does not carry a similar value system as you, it is very possible that not only will they see things completely different than you, but they will also approach a lot of things very, very much differently than you. And it's not to say that they can't be a good friend. It's not to say that they can't be available or someone to talk to. But if we're really being honest, when matching values are not a part of the relationship and it comes to heavy hitting things that are on your mind and heart that you need to talk through it is very difficult to expect that individual to be able to give something that is wise something that is beneficial something that will actually be transformative to your life might give some advice that's on shaky ground might give some advice that might pull you away from your value system instead of causing you to lean closer to your value system. And when we talk about transformation, value system is easily one of the bigger foundations in order for the relationship to be considered transformative. And so without that matching value system, it's very hard when big moments and struggling times come through to be able to come to said person about those issues, about what's on your heart, about what's on your mind, that may not be beneficial because they're coming at it from a whole nother different lane that isn't matching the values that you carry and actually can create more harm than good. Whereas transformational relationships, not only are matching values a part of the equation, but this is someone you can confide into. This is someone that you can trust will give insight when granted, who will speak and listen to your ideas, to what's on your mind and on your heart, and won't rush you out of certain spaces, won't even try to pull you over to where they're at and their understanding, but rather is looking to understand where you are, hear your heart on where you are. And because of the value system that you both share, Share, what's given is not only understood, but it's also able to be transformative for the direction that you're going. Maybe it's a different perspective on the situation. Maybe it's a little bit of encouragement about the situation. Maybe it's just being with you and supporting you hand in hand, sitting with you in that situation. Nonetheless, that is something that could take the relationship even to new heights and new levels, especially when you're going through some valley situations and some low seasons in your life and transformative relationships 
are just that in those moments, transformative. Being able to uplift you out of low places, being able to be a friend in the midst of adversity and being able to be loving, kind, compassionate, supportive and present available even in those shaky moments that you may experience throughout the course of your life. So those are the five that I've got so far to be able to determine between transactional and transformative relationships that you may carry and always know that the goal in relationships that we want to carry is to build transformative relationships, relationships that can last longer and greater, deeper than the surface and is never based on what you can do for me, but always based on a mutual understanding of what you can do for one another, being able to build and change, grow in character and in livelihood over time, doing life together, ultimately building our foundation and hope on Christ and Christ alone. So listen, if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you know the next time we're posting. Hit that like button, share this with a friend so they too can get put on some game on some differences between transactional and transformative relationships as we're over here building healthy, happy, whole, and biblical relationships in our lives, making them as applicable as possible. I appreciate you guys all so much for tuning in. As always, until the next conversation, be easy and be breezy, my friend. Hey, peace.